This posture is actually pretty good. And <laughs> yeah, maybe if I'm super annoyed, I'll just okay, just there chill. You go. My name is Dr. Ed Rosero from Rothman Orthopedics. I'm here today to examine Boombox to maximize his performance in front of the keyboard. I don't know what an orthopedic doctor does, so I have no idea what to expect during this exam. The things that you worry about is long-term health. It's the wear and tear of the, of the sport, whether it's mainly neck pain, followed by wrist and hand injuries, musculoskeletal, where it's a tendon injury, or even worse, they start to develop nerve issues. I don't know what's gonna happen in there, but hopefully I get some tips from a doctor and it'll help elevate my gameplay. I'm Dr. Rosero from Rothman Orthopedics. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. I'm Boombox. Do you know what we're doing here today? I have no idea. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to examine you while you play today. How's that sound? That sounds interesting. All right. Well, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Let's go. So I got a question. Do you always keep your hand uh, flexed like that? Yeah. Over time, you might start to develop some, some pain and tendonitis in your wrist. So it would be a good idea if you can even get one of those pads that go attached to the keyboard, put your hand in a more neutral position, and it prevents wear and tear throughout the years. In addition, I noticed that you make a lot of big movements with your mouse. Do you ever get some tendon pain or wrist pain in, in your mouse hand? Maybe very rarely in my hand, yeah. but not so much recently. I mean, and again, that's a good thing, but over time, when you're making such big movements like that, you can develop some tendonitis in the wrist. Things that you can do is maybe adjust your mouse sensitivity, so now you're getting bigger movements on the screen with little movements on your wrist. And I also notice that your, uh, your forearms are, are pushed flush against the edge of this table. Over time, you can start to pinch some of your nerves. If it becomes chronic enough, you might have to get surgery to correct it. A good thing is for anyone who sits at a keyboard a long period of time to take breaks once every two hours, and even getting up doing some simple stretches of your wrist and forearms also helps take tension off the nerves and, and the muscles for that matter. His posture is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, maybe but, if I'm super annoyed, I'll just... Okay. Just chill. There you go. <laughs> so, have you ever noticed when you sit like that, you start to get a lot of tension in your shoulders, you get, it feels a little tight after a long period of time. In the end, that starts to lead to a lot of shoulder and trapezius pain, which can end up being neck pain. And then over time, when you have that stress in your neck, you're going to find that it's going to be harder to sit in those long periods of time. Alright, so really try to maintain that good posture. Perfect, that looks much better. Thanks for everything today, Doc. It was really helpful. It was a pleasure. Hey, us from Roth Orthopedics, we want to wish you luck the rest of the season. Thank you. No problem. Take care. Boombox actually had pretty good posture overall. You know, he had pretty good chair positioning, so that's one thing I'm, I'm glad to see. Overall, what they have to remember is they're athletes. So like any athlete, you need to keep your body in tip-top shape. If your body's not in tip-top shape, it's not gonna perform as well as it should. From this experience, I feel like I learned a new perspective on how posture can affect you, and I'm gonna be mindful towards these things in the future. Hitting that buzzer was a lot of fun. And the funny thing is hitting the buzzer didn't seem like it distracted them at all. So these guys have razor sharp focus. The buzzer was really irritating and I hope that we toss it. Zoom, 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 zoom.